to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Detang by BitQ. This here is a revolutionary wristband that allows you to control toys, RC cars, robots, even drones such as this one right here. Now the way it works is quite interesting. It reads EMG levels as well as IMU levels to go ahead and see what kind of gestures you do and based on that it shows it in the product itself. So depending on how much of a strength you do, it'll actually fly faster, which is actually really cool. Now you can go ahead and do different gestures as well, such as this, even Spider-Man, as well as Iron Man, so it kind of gives you the whole superhero kind of feel to it as well. Now they have different models in which uh, BitQ actually sent us this one here. This here is the Sima X23 version, so you get a drone as well as a detain with it into a one combination that's pre-programmed. They also have an RC car version as well, and I'm sure they have other ones as well too. So check out their link down below for a little bit more information on that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. All right, so this here's our box, and it's actually got a very nice looking layout. Now it says detang right here, it kind of shows you how it works. So like this guy's doing a hand expression like this, and he's controlling the drone. Now on the bottom here it says it has gesture recognition, so you can go ahead and change the different gestures uh, as previously mentioned. And then there's power awareness, so depending on how much of a strain that you're doing on your muscles, that will control the drone itself or the RC car. Now it's easy to start and there's more play methods, so you can go ahead and use it for different vehicles or robots. And then there's free development, so you can always go ahead and expand on it and kind of learn more about the actual device itself. Now on the back here it talks about this one in particular. So this here is the uh, Sima Drone X23 DSTA model. Other than that, you know, that's kind of what the box looks like. So let's go ahead and open this up. So it just kind of slides open like that. Alright, so this here is our user manual which will kind of guide you on how to use the DTing itself as well as flying the drone and kind of give you quick little pointers and in terms of the build process in case if you do break it like the blueprint or whatnot. Now this is actually a really nice looking layout. So we have ourselves our drone right over here uh, and then we have ourselves our DTing right over here. This here is a pretty cool looking watch. Uh, off the back I'm going to say it's actually really light. Uh, and it has a very cool appearance, especially the white and black uh, two-tone colors. I really like that a lot. Uh, we have ourselves a power button over here. And then we have ourselves a uh, port that you can go ahead and plug into the computer. Now you do see the sensors right over here, which will just go ahead and strap onto your arm just like that. So it will measure the output depending on your gestures. So pretty interesting stuff. Uh, definitely going to be excited to go ahead and try that out. And then we have ourselves our drone. Now this here is actually a pretty good high quality drone itself. Uh, so we have ourselves our battery packer, which kind of slides in like that. And then you can see it has a light in the front. Uh, we got the four LEDs on the color, so over here it's got red and green. Uh, so actually a very nice looking, high quality piece. And then we have ourselves a charging cable. This here is for the drone itself. And then we have a few extra pieces in terms of if you do break it, you can go ahead and swap it out. And then lastly we have the uh, USB cable for the watch itself. So with that being said, it kind of gives you an idea of what it comes with. So let's go ahead and set everything up and go ahead and give it a test flight. Alright, so we're all set and ready to fly. Uh, I got my wristband on and I have my drone right here. So we're just going to go ahead and plug in the battery. And then we're going to go ahead and hold the power button. And we're going to go ahead and position it where the red lights are facing towards us. Uh, this will give us an idea in terms of perspective and how to fly this. So let's go ahead and place it down for now. Just like that. Okay. And note that the lights on the drone itself are blinking. Uh, and as soon as I, there you go. And as soon as I press the button on my uh, wristband itself, they will go to a solid state. Now saying that we're ready to fly. So let's see how this thing works. All right. So see that it is now flying. I'm gonna go ahead and stress my arm a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up now. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down. And I'm gonna go ahead and push it away from me. And I'm going to stop. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring it towards me and then stop. Now I'm going to slide to the right and stop. And then slide to the left and stop. And yeah, there you have it. Let's bring it down now. All right, well there you have it. This wristband is actually pretty interesting. Uh, I did feel like uh, flying it at first was a little bit difficult, and, but the more I did it, the more comfortable I got and the more easier I felt it. Uh, I feel like you do need a lot more space to fly this thing, just because uh, when you have a lot of different obstacles like this, it kind of freaks you out, like, oh crap, am I gonna crash it? Uh, and yeah, you know, just having that aspect of safety is actually a very important thing. 
Now, other than that, the sensitivity, it does take some getting used to, just because you don't know exactly how it is. The more you straighten it, the faster it'll go. So depending on how much pressure you put on your gesture, it'll actually kind of, kind of go in that direction itself. Now, uh, other than that, in terms of uh, like safety mechanisms, I noticed when it was kind of like going against the wall, as soon as you press the button here, it just kind of stops it, which is a great thing. Um, I feel that they, they do have other aspects in terms of like the RC tank uh, that you can actually buy as well, which would probably be a lot more easier to control. So I think that's actually a good idea to go with. And then you can always program for other things such as this drone here. So just kind of an idea of what you guys want to look at. Now, if you guys had any questions about the wristband itself, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.